Yo, what's going on guys? See you guys back with another episode of Columbus Blue Jackets franchise mode and when we left off, we had a pretty pretty impressive offseason, if I do say so myself. Uh, we're going into this year a much better team, uh, but there is one issue. You might have saw it in the last video. I just noticed it now uh, when I was line editing. But Mike Fisher dropped from uh, medium, uh, medium, exact top nine potential to uh, exact AHL Top six. So we're going to see a Mike Fisher overall drop. So we got to be prepared for that. And we got to figure out how the hell we're going to replace him. And it's, I, I'm, obviously, it's going to be via trade, but but who are we going to bring in to replace him? Uh, and that's what it's going to come down to. And yeah, and then that's, well, that's why they invented the trade deadline, ladies and gentlemen. We will be acquiring somebody at the deadline. Um, now, take into account, we can acquire someone up to 87, 88 overall, considering the fact that we have, you know, our third line center is 88 overall and Jonathan Taves. And I am still happy about that trade. 9-1-0 to start the season. Not bad at all. But anyways, uh, I am going to be looking to add a beastly center to the deadline. I'm not holding back. We've got we got to win a freaking cup, man. I mean, Jesus. With all, wow, we're actually killing it right now. Um, oh, my God. The first two or three, the first two seasons, right? 2017, 18, 18, 19. Lost in the second round. The third year, we lose in the Stanley Cup Final to the St. Louis Blues in six games. Now, that was painful because I really thought we were going to win that series. <sighs> but to the last, I was wrong. This year, I'm going to say, is probably going to be our year. I, well, I hope it's going to be our year. If you look at our team this season compared to every other season we've, we've had, the other three, this is the best team we've been able to field. So there's no reason this isn't our year to win the Stanley Cup. No reason at all. A uh, 10 to 1 win against Calgary. You can see it. This team is poised for excellence. Um not to mention Bobrovsky is still 93 overall. So we still have a beast goalie in that. We just got to hope the simulation is kind to us come playoff time. And we just got to keep kicking ass to take it, Dave's. <laughs> I apologize for the yawning. Uh, I have to go to work very early again. I'm, that's why I'm recording early, because I have to go to work early. A happy spring break, and happy Good Friday to all those who celebrate, but most of all, because um, I'd imagine the majority of people right now are celebrating spring break, uh, for all you all you people still in school. College spring break was a couple weeks ago, and my brother and sister who are in elementary and middle school uh, currently have, uh, they, spring break starts today on Good Friday. Um, then they'll have uh, Saturday, Easter, Sunday, that whole week, and they'll go back Monday, April, whatever. April 9th, I think, is when they go back, something like that. So yeah, in uh, La Casa de Sea Jets, we are all, well, they are all very happy. They don't have no more school for them for another week. They'll sit back and enjoy, do nothing but play video games, maybe they'll go outside a couple times, and yeah, that's cool. That is cool beans. As for me, I have a seven-hour shift in like an hour. And I have still not taken my morning shower, brushed my teeth, or eaten breakfast. I literally just rolled out of bed. <laughs> I rolled out of bed, I watched the highlights from the NHL last night, and I turned on my Xbox and said, hey, I gotta record now, because if I don't record now, I won't record at all today. And I do not want to short you guys. So here I am, all gross. I did do mouthwash. I haven't brushed my teeth, but I put in mouthwash. You know, like the, uh, oh, crap. Listerine, what is it? I don't know what I have. I don't even think it's Listerine. I don't know what the half it is. It tastes disgusting though. Ugh. But yeah, I still have a laundry list of shit to do after this video. But I mean, I'm, I'm still going to record this video as long as it has to be. If it has to be an hour long video and I'm late to work, screw it! I'm going to be there for seven hours anyway. I can be a few minutes late. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, we seem to have slowed down a little bit. We're still doing excellent. I'm not complaining. But we definitely slowed down a little bit. The lost totals got... got we're still kicking ass, though. Uh, we're going to have a... Mi wow, we're, we're actually doing quite well. Never mind. I take that back. We're doing well. Doing quite well. It's going to be another dub. Make it another dub. Um, new. New. Yeah, good. If I recall correctly, we do not have a pick in the first two rounds. If I recall correctly. I think that's I think that's the case right now. So, I'm, I'm not going to go out of my way. That was a big winning streak that just got ended right there. 
I'm not going to go crazy in the deadline and try to acquire picks. Um, but I'm not I'm not shy about moving away some of our younger guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and simulate this game. Um, see if we can't get 46 wins by the deadline. And see if we can't bring back any... One second. Yeah! Oh, fuck. Overtime, please. Win it. Spiller got two goals. Hey! 46 wins at the trade deadline. I do not know if we've ever had a team simulate that well in the regular season. I'm sure maybe I have in one of my past GM modes. But I think this might have been the best up to the deadline simulation I've had. 99 points. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, put in a save so we don't lose any of this because this is dapper. Uh, if I do say so myself. Uh, we'll take a look at the standings. See what we're doing good. See what we're not doing good. See what we can improve. What we can't improve. Uh, okay. Are we first in the NHL? Wow. By a lot. We have 21 more points than the team in second place. So this, again, I'm going to go back to this. This should be our year. This should be our year. Okay? All right. This is this is insane. Uh, goals four. Oops. Uh, we have 15 more than the team in second place. Goals against. We have 14 less than the team in second place. Uh, power play. Yeah, not great, but I'm not going to not gonna nudge it. Uh, penalty kill, are we up there? Kind of, okay. We have a good squad. We have a very good squad. I'm almost against trading away Mike Fisher right now and trying to upgrade. Ilya Kovalchuk, despite dropping the 81 overall, still has 33 goals and 52 points in 64 games. I am so happy I kept him. Pierre-Luc Dubois is still killing it. Uh, Wenberg's doing good. T Everyone, Jonathan Taze has 25 goals. See, I am so happy I acquired this guy. I'm, we, fuck it, I'm up. I don't, I don't think I'll trade him out the drive. I think I'm going to hold on to this guy. He's been that good. Uh, Troy Ellison, finally, he's, well, finally, he's not even fucking growing still. See, this is going to piss me off. If he just stays at 80 overall his entire career, it would be retarded, but I don't see him growing. Uh, Spiller, 22 goals in his rookie year. He's up to 85 overall. He's already growing more than Ellison. I don't know what the hell is wrong with Troy, but he's not growing. And he's someone I'm going to think about trading. Not yet. Uh, not this season, but at the draft, I think it's something I'm going to consider. Uh, Ryan Murray, of course, doing excellent. Mike Fisher, a plus... Oh, wait, no. Plus 10. 20 points. Dropped to 75 overall. Listed as a minor scoring forward. I uh, I don't want to... Oh, wow. Clemens is killing it. Uh, I don't want to get rid of him, but I don't really know what other choice I have. You know? I don't think I'm going to send him down. I'm going to keep him in the NHL. And if I acquire somebody and it screws everything up, I'm just going to... Well, Brodsky really has... Wow, Michael Neuver has started a lot of games this year. He's got a lot of wins. But Brodsky, I mean, he's done a lot. I'm not saying he hasn't done anything, but... You know, Neuver's carrying a lot of the workload, too, and he's doing quite well at it. A 9-3-3 save percentage. Damn. I think we got a squad this year. Uh, take a look at the entire NHL. Uh, wow, Ricard Raquel. Rick Rack attack leading the way. Uh, who's leading the league in goals? Henrik Bjorkstrom, Tavares, Ovi, Kobe, Caprizi. All right, well, that's what that looks like. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be looking to acquire a fourth line center at the deadline. By fourth line center, like, that person can be upwards. I don't care if he's 99 overall. I'm going to try to, if he's on the block, I'm going to try to trade for him. If there's nothing available, I have no problem keeping Mike Fisher, but I do want to have someone in the reserves. Um, okay. Uh, make sure everything's recording. So, good. Uh, sort by boom. And a little bit of shaboom. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, Miko Koivu. Uh, okay. Miko Koivu. That's a good option right there. He's not terrible. Uh, I'm looking for someone of a higher over... Oh, Dougie, uh, Dougie Hamilton is not a center. Um, Henry Strohs, no. I, couldn't, I could play my center, but I don't want to. Derek Stepan. Uh, actually, Stepan wouldn't be a terrible option. Uh, reunite him and Rick Nash. Okay, I like Derek Stepan more than I like the other idiot. Andreas Athanathiu, as Mike Tyson would say. Um, Athanathiu. Okay. Uh, I feel like I have Stepan over Athanathiu. Well, actually, actually, I don't know. I might have a fantasy you over step on. Let's see. If... A fantasy you has better face offs. 
Not as good offensive numbers. No, Athanasiu is only better because of his physical category. 88-82-88-86-87. Well, he does have the better defensive set. Okay. I might... Yeah, I have Athanasiu over Stepan right now. Okay, that's fair. Um, okay. No one there. Great. Kopitar's on block. Uh, yeah. It looks like it's going to be Andreas Athanasiu. I'm going to pass on Galley G. <sighs> Ugh. No, you want to know this. Uh, no, no one. Zingle. Uh, Joe Pavelski. No, he's, he actually dropped off a lot. Okay. Ooh, Josh, Joshua Norris. The Norris trophy. No, actually, he's terrible. Um, well, kind of, I was kind of hoping there's going to be like a beast on the block, but I guess the best player on the block is, well, at least for us, was Andreas Athanasiu. And I guess that's who it's going to be that we acquire. Get some speed on that fourth line. Well, it kills me to do so, Mike Fisher. It really does. And I don't want to do it. Um, but we... Uh, uh, one second. How's our minor league squad doing, actually? Before I make this move. Quite well. Uh, I'm not trading Crow. Certainly not trading Norberth. Uh, do we have picks to acquire him? This is where the issue with Athanas to you comes in. We don't really have the assets to trade for a guy like him because we don't really have that good of prospects still. Oh, wow, he's actually grown quite a bit since the uh, start of the season. So I could throw in this Carter guy. I can throw in... As a start. Um... So two thirds and Carter. I feel like that would work for Stepan. Yeah, shit. We don't really have the assets to acquire a piece the size of Andreas Athanasiu. I'm still gonna try though, but I don't. I don't see how it's likely that we could push this through. Uh, we've thrown out like a second round pick from next year. Might be more reasonable. I think this might actually go through. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to do. Do a second and a third from next year. Yeah, it might be more economical to get Derek Step on because his trade value is significantly lower than uh, Athens to you. Yeah, significantly lower. Because we can get Step on for bits and pieces. We don't really have to give up that much to get him. I'm not going to trade any of my current players. Like, we could trade this guy. I'd imagine they want draft picks. And this third and this second. And we might be overshooting his value. Like, we could probably get something back with this. See if we can't get a couple fourths. Trade blocking. Okay. Uh, we can trade another third. But we trade Carolina's third. Yeah. That's fine. I'm honest. I'm okay with that. Ugh, that's cool. That's cool. And then we'll just... Um, I, I guess I really wanted Andreas Athens to see you, but I just didn't see how it was possible. So we're just going to sit Mike Fisher, and if we start losing, we'll just... Oh, what the... F Where's Eric Stepan? Was he in the minors? Why was he in the minors? Ah, okay. That's unfortunate. Oh, we might have to send him down after all. Really? Shit, well that changes the game now, doesn't it? Fuck. So we're going to have to wait for the playoffs so we can even call up Stepan. Damn it. All right. Well, we'll have to wait. We'll see Stepan for the playoffs. We'll just pretend he has an injury or something. All right. All right. That sucks. But I suppose it is what it is. That's... Ah. Damn it. <sighs> Stupid game. Should turn salary cap off. Anyways, anyways, I have a scouting assignment, yep, 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 okay, well, just keep on keeping on, as long as we're winning, I'm happy, nope, oh, I said winning, let's get 55 win, okay, 
Hey, okay, we went into the playoffs with 14 goals in two games. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. And we had the Carolina Hurricanes in round numero uno. Okay, now if I was if I'm correct, I believe Carolina was second in our division up until apparently just now. I was put in a save, and then off camera I'll do the step on call up in the line, fixing and all that stuff. Assuming that we can call him up, because it would be a shame if I just traded for him and we can't call him up. Because uh, if that is the case, I'm going to sign him to an extension and trade him at the draft like a cheap piece of shit. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go here, and we'll take a look at the stats and standings and all that good stuff. Okay, so, uh, 119 points. Yeah, it's definitely not the most successful regular season I've ever had with a team, but it's, but, I mean, top five probably. 55 wins, goals four. We finish number one. We had 20 more goals on the team in the second place, which is miraculously the New York Rangers. Uh, goals against. Uh, oh, Flyers passes up. So we ended up without the best goals against, um, despite having a comfortable lead, at least I thought we did. Uh, power play, we actually improved. Penalty kill got worse, I think. Uh, individual statistics, Artemi Panarin led the squad, 33 goals. Kovalchuk, despite dropping all the way down to 81 overall, still put up 43 goals and 70 points. Only 7 points less than last year and the same exact goal total. This guy is a straight-up beast. I mean, we can't afford him for next year. I mean, $4 million is a lot. But if he's, scoring four, if he's scoring 40 goals, even though his shot is not even that great, I don't know how the hell he did it, but he did it. Uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois, 65 points, 51 helpers. Wenberg, 52 helpers, 61 points. Uh, Jonathan Taves, 31 goals and 57 points as the third-line center. We have the best center core in the NHL. I don't care what anybody else thinks. Our centers combined... Wow, that's freaking crazy. Okay, uh, Vitaly Abramov, damn it, uh, 52 points. It's got to be a career year for the young man. Uh, yep, great season fight for Vitaly Abramov. Uh, Troy Ellison, not growing, but put up 45 points, so I guess that's cool. Milano at 50, uh, 50 points, uh, Jones 44, Spiller 42 points, 26 goals in his rookie year. Quite impressive. Uh, Wierenski at 42 points. We had a lot of guys scoring a lot of points. Uh, apparently, we, I mean, such a shame we couldn't get to see Derek Stepan up here, but uh, we'll see him for the offs. Actually having a pretty good season. Uh, Ryan Murray, Mike Fischer, we actually dropped down to 74 overall now. We have 24 points. We had a good year. Yeah. That plus minus is going down though. We're gonna we're gonna need step on soon. Uh, goalies, Bobrovsky couldn't get the forty wins, but we didn't really need him to with the way uh, Michael Neuvirth played. I don't know why the coach did it the way he did it. Um, I would have had Bobrovsky start at least almost seventy games as, as well as you know Neuvirth did. I would have had Bobrovsky in a lot more than he had him. Uh, anyways, Phil the Thrill led the led the league in points, followed by Malkin. And Mark Scheifele, a lot of point per game players. Rick Rakitak trailed off. Turns a goal to Hunter Gorkstrom, uh, 53 goals. Pretty good, pretty good. Ilya Kovalchuk finished third in goal scoring, again, despite being only 81 overall. The guy's just a beast, straight up. And yeah, I am very happy I opted to keep him this offseason, as opposed to trading him, because I really did think about trading him for a while, um, or releasing him because of the way his overall was dropping, but I didn't. Anyways, you got St. Louis, Nashville. You got Winnipeg, San Jose, Las Vegas versus Edmonton, Anaheim versus Arizona. Philadelphia Flyers versus the Washington Capitals, your Columbus Blue Jackets versus the Carolina Hurricanes, Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Toronto Make Beliefs, and the Buffalo Sabres versus the Pitts Puke Penguins. So, thank you everybody for watching the video. I'm for watching because we're making it end. If you understand everything I just said, you do not need Henry Gaines. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.